Hey, everyone, how you doing? <laughs> okay, I'm just being really silly, but uh, welcome back to my channel. And as you can tell by today's title, it's going to be all about Rare Beauty and testing out some of the new products from Rare Beauty. Um, but I am going to be using some oldies and goodies. As far as complexion products go, I'm going to be using the Rare Beauty Foundation. Um, I have the shade 410 and I'm also going to be using the concealer. The concealer is in 430W. What did I pick up? I picked up, um, I already had a lot of Rare Beauty products before and I think I did a video last year when the brand first came out. I did um, some demos, so be sure to check that out. But I picked up the powders, always an Optimus uh, powder, soft radiance setting powder. And I picked up the, con the con not the concealer, I picked up the um, mascara. I heard the mascara was really good. So I picked that up and then I also picked up the bronzing stick and I picked up Truth Warmth or Warm Truth. That's the color that I picked up and that's what we're gonna be demoing today. So I am excited to get into the powders so I can set my face. So I actually bought two shades. I bought medium and then I bought medium deep. And I felt like medium would be perfect for my under eyes and that I could use the medium deep to set the face. Now the powder is said to be a super fine loose setting powder that melts with your melds, with your makeup to smooth blur and set with a soft radiant finish. So if you're looking for a mattifying powder, then this is definitely not gonna be that for you. It is gonna be more on, you know, giving you that nice glow. So, oh my gosh, the packaging. So let's take a look. So this is the, uh, the container, what it looks like. Just regular clear with the, like rose gold kind of top. And then when you look at the inside, it has the Rare Beauty logo going on right there. And it's basically like a twist. So you twist it and then it has the little film. I can't pick the film up with my nails. So let me use my tweezer and lift that up. And this color is the medium medium deep and I'm going to use that to set my face. So I'm just dusting it into the top and I'm going to use that for my face. And then I'm going to go in with the other color medium to set my under eye. So let me do my under eye first so that my concealer does not crease on me. So I'm gonna pour that into the lid here and I can show you the difference between the colors so you can kind of see the medium. So this is medium. I don't know if you guys can see that. <laughs> I don't want it to, you know, topple out. So that's the medium. So I'm just going to take my sponge just kind of go through one more time, dab out my under eye area. And then now I'm gonna go in with a dry sponge and then just put that on under. Oh yeah, this is like the perfect color. The color actually reminds me of one of the Fenty colors that I use from Fenty. I don't remember what color it is that I love, but I always use the same color. So that is basically what the color looks like. I could probably even do the light medium. 
If I wanted something with a little high shine, I could do the light medium as well. So that is pretty dope. I'm gonna put it on my forehead, down the center, and yeah. So now I can go in with the medium deep color and I'm gonna also put that on my lid, but I'm gonna grab the brush and kind of just tap that onto my lid to kind of set the lid. So that is perfect. Got that down. I'll just go over this with a little powder as well. I like to use the brush sometimes to do the um, under eye area just to make sure that everything is locked down really good. So that is dope. Looks good. All right, so I also picked up the brush powder from Rare Beauty. I like to use their brushes. I feel like she got some really nice brushes. So I'm gonna use the brush and I'm going to use that with the medium deep to kind of go over my face a little bit. And I haven't, I just realized that I haven't used the bronzer yet, but that's okay. So, I definitely feel like the powder was perfect for my face. So I like that a lot. So again, remember it's not a matte powder. It's gonna be more, um, Radiance, soft radiance. So this is dope, perfect. And I can tell that it blurs. So my skin is looking blurred, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and dive into the bronzing stick. And nobody really has bronzing stick, honestly. Everybody has contour sticks, yada, 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 so. Okay, so now we're gonna get into the stick. Again, minimal package as per the use. You have the rose gold top. You have the Rare Beauty written on the package. And it almost looks like Jouer a little bit. So this is the Warm Wishes Effortless Bronzer Stick and the shade is Truth Warmth. It's a mistake proof bronzer in a convenient stick formula that melts seamlessly into skin for natural looking warmth and dimension. So this is what it looks like. It twists up and this is about how much we're getting in this. This has uh, seven grams of product. So let me just twist it down and then we're gonna go in. Remember it's not contour it's whoa huh that's red it's just bronzer so the the goal of bronzer is to add warmth to the skin and i have this brush this is luxie so let me just go ahead and work that out oh that is so pretty so let's look at that you guys it's very pretty i definitely got some warmth if we look at this side of my face and this side i got some warmth back into my skin so i have to say the color is kind of crazy but blended out it actually looks really good wow that's mad pretty. So let me just keep on blending out the rest and then we'll take a look and see what it looks like. It's crazy, but I feel like it's actually pretty dope. 
bronzing stick. <laughs> Very innovative because there's, like I said, no bronzer stick cream. There's cream bronzers, but not in a stick format. You know what I mean? And usually the bronzers usually have that kind of contourish undertone. So nothing that's gonna be this warm, but it's actually doing what a bronzer is supposed to do and that is giving you warmth. So there we have it, not too shabby at all. So I am back. All right. So now let's talk about these new products from um, Rare Beauty. Now I tend to say that I love the bronzing stick. I feel like now I don't really feel like you even see it that much anymore, but I really feel like it's a true bronzer. It did add warmth back to my skin, which is what a bronzer is supposed to do. The color is still kind of sketchy to me because it's more on the red side. So it's one of those red, more redder bronzers. Now, again, I'm gonna mention my bronzer video that I did um, a while ago and I talked about the different kinds of bronzers. So again, the bronzer's job is not to contour. So it's not going to be, you know, it's not meant to be like that kind of product. It's just meant to really warm up the skin. So you're not looking flat and add a little bit of dimension and warmth back to the, to your complexion. And that's exactly what this did. So I do have to agree with it because it is called, hold on, let me grab the box. Warm something. Um, I don't know where the box is. So I have to say that, oh, here's the box. So it says warm wishes effortless bronzer stick. I definitely feel like it absolutely is effortless. It blended smoothly. It didn't move the foundation underneath. Now, again, I did use Rare Beauty foundation. I don't know if I was to use another foundation, you know, how things mix together. So typically I like to stick with the same brands because sometimes the products are meant to work. They work better with, you know, one brand. Um, so it didn't move at all. Hold on. Um, and it did, it melts into the skin and it did give me a natural looking warmth and it did give a little dimension. I pretty much use the full face of Rare Beauty because I use the blush, I use Grace um, as my blush and I use the concealer. And now we're gonna talk about the powders. Now, I do have to say that the powders do, um, do what they claim to do. Um, they're super fine. They are loose setting powder. They do meld with my makeup. They smooth my skin. They blurred and they set with a soft radiant finish. I absolutely completely agree with that. If you look like on my skin where the powder is, because I did use the two shades, I used medium and I used medium deep. Medium deep I did use to set the perimeter of my face and I'm not matte. Although I didn't really use a matte foundation because the um, Rare Beauty foundation is like a natural finish, semi-matte foundation. So the powders do add a little bit of radiance to the skin, so it's non-drying. So you won't get that patchy kind of look, you know, from the powders normally when you use, you know, matte powders. So I like the powders. I like the medium. It's very natural. It wasn't one of those that was really bright. And I went in with the Rare Beauty Concealer, which I also do love. Um, and my under eye looks glowy. It's not matte, it's not dry for sure. It's not like highlighted either. It's just radiant, you know, soft radiant. That's how I would describe my under eye. <laughs> and I have to say, this mascara, I use this mascara today. I really like, I'm looking at my lower lash and they look long, they look volumized. And man, I really like this mascara. So that's pretty dope. I do think that those bronzing stick and the powders are pretty, pretty good. Oh, and I did love this brush. I think that it was just perfect to powder the face. So that I do love as I go over <laughs> my face right now. So love the brush, 
love the bronzer stick and love the powders love the mascara even though it's not new but um yeah so those are my first impressions i'm definitely going to keep using the powders to kind of you know see what i think the only thing probably i don't really like it for my under eye because i tend to like a more matte under eye but for my face i do like the way that it kind of had that soft radiance look to my face but i don't really like that for my under eye i want something a little bit more matte but if i'm going for something soft then i do feel like those powders will work very well but anyway guys that's it for today's video i hope you really enjoyed my first impressions on these rare beauty newness <laughs> and then if you made it this far but you haven't subscribed please take the time to hit the subscribe button down below also while you're there turn on your notification bells to be notified whenever i upload new videos because you don't want to miss out on all that i got for you guys in 2022 <laughs> and also don't forget to like comment and share this video with your friends let's grow the lady m family <laughs> and that's it for today's video and i'll catch you in the next one bye